my womanly roar. Oh. Yeah. I'm here. I've come to realize that I have literally been choosing the same guy to date. I am shocked. Shocked. They're super charming at first, probably mildly attractive, but also emotionally unavailable. I made all these excuses in my head for why I thought that that was attractive. You stupid. And, but really what it was, was that I was scared. Bruh. I was scared to be in a relationship. So I chose people that I knew I would never be in a relationship with. Emotional damage. Which is so weird. And it was totally a subconscious choice. But then I met somebody recently. He drew boundaries with me from the very beginning. He basically was like, these are the things that you do carry that don't make me feel comfortable. And I'm sure you can imagine what some of those things are. Uh-huh. And I pretty much said, well, too bad. Bitch, please. I'm not going to make you any promises to people that I don't know. And I was mad about it, like super mad about it. And I'm like, and if you don't want to go on a date with me, that's fine. Because this is who I am. I'm not changing for anybody. Emotional damage. And he basically was like, that's fine. I'm still curious to meet you. So let's meet. I was like, Ugh. first date was terrible. I was basically my worst self. Went into that date thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to put him in his place, which I did. You stupid. And he totally took it. The second day I brought him to this like concert that I was like, well, let's go and see if he can hang. It's such a bitch. Bitches be crazy. And he, and he did. <laughs> the next few dates. I was getting impatient because I was starting to realize how much I rush relationships. You stupid. And he wouldn't let me. He just was slow and steady, like a sloth. <laughs> run, Forrest, run. And finally I told him like things weren't going like the way that I wanted. So I was like, why don't we just be friends and get to know each other? And as soon as I said that, he stepped it up. Beta. He started calling me. There's always somebody that I could just like talk to, but not about like super heavy shit all the time. He was somebody that I could legit just like laugh with, shoot the shit about, talk about music, whatever. And I was like, oh, I really like talking to him. Beta. And then he started telling me more about himself because I could tell he was feeling more com comfortable with me and I stopped acting like a freaking deranged, crazy lunatic. Stop the cap. We are definitely building an emotional connection, which is something that feels scary and feels so good all at the same time. And I even feel guilty talking about him here because like, I don't want to disrespect him in any way, but I do want to say that until I met somebody that I absolutely hated, stuck it out because my girlfriends talked me into it and gave it a freaking chance that I actually did something different. And I guess that's the message and the moral of this story. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. Story time. I don't know if you guys last watched my last video. Nope. But it said that I was doing things differently. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I was doing things differently, but the people I dated, they're still doing the same damn thing. Bruh. So, this really nice guy, nice guy. Beta. That I went on a few dates with who I thought was actually being honest and vulnerable. The fucker ghosted me. No word, no indication, nothing. Just like, bye. So then I'm like, fuck this guy, right? <laughs> I know why you mad. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to block his ass because I don't ever want to hear from him again. So I didn't know. I've never blocked anybody before. So I'm like, well, if I unblock him, am I going to see his messages if I unblock him? So I, I blocked my girlfriend and I told her to send me a message and see what happens. So she sends me a message. She says, oh, it's blue, but it just says it's not delivered. And I'm like, that's weird. Then I realized that that fucker blocked me when he went to a conference in San Diego. So this guy is just like the rest of them, a liar and he's not honest. Stop the cap. And it doesn't matter where you meet them. It could be online, it could be a friend setup, which is what this was, or it could just be an absolute freaking stranger you meet on the street. They literally are all the same. Stop the cap. How the hell do I keep dating the same man? And you stupid. And I know what you're gonna say. It's me, I'm the common denominator. Well, uh huh. Well, fuck you too. Buy a dog and die alone. Hey, 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 gang. I need a beer. Click here and here. 
and give me a beer. This shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Hear my womanly roar. Oh. Yeah.